Hey, Summit, this is Edward. You know this guy, Jake. This is your weekly update. Hope you share this on all your platforms. And if it's Sunday morning and this is the first time you're hearing this, we are so glad that you're here. Now, here's a couple of things we have going. It's going to be a big weekend, Jake. It's our largest outreach that we do as our church uh, to our community. And so it's fall festival weekend, right? So Sunday night from five o'clock to seven, there's going to be people uh, all over our building. They're going to be uh, playing. They're going to be eating. Uh, it's going to be a good night. So we, we need a couple things, though. We need a setup team, and we need a teardown team. Yes. Uh, so if you've not signed up for that or you've not let Ashley know, Ashley is our children's pastor. You can reach her at Ashley at summitheightsfellowship.com and let her know that you're willing to do that, both in the setup and the teardown. Uh, so reach out to her, let her know. We also need uh, cake stuff for like the cake walk. Cake walk, yep. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to bake something, what we that would be preferred. Yes. Are, are you going to bake anything? No. You're not? I don't bake. Um, hey, let me give our audience a little preview of what this is going to look like so we'll have church as normal edward will you know do his thing or whatever and then when he's done when we dismiss we'll break down chairs in the auditorium and we'll clear the auditorium no chairs yeah and then uh that afternoon uh we'll need to come back and do some things because everything needs to be ready to go by like four o'clock and so on Sunday, we'll be given more specific instructions yeah. about maybe go eat lunch and then come back and help us set some booths up and all that stuff. And then at seven o'clock, when people start leaving the event, gotta go. we got to start tearing everything down. And so even if you don't come to the event and you want to be on that teardown team, we, we desperately need people to come back up and help us tear everything down and clean up. Desperate's kind of a strong word. Yeah. Yeah. Desperate. It's a manipulative word that I like to use when I try to manipulate people into doing something that I want them to do. Wow. I went to the doctor today. I see that. <clears throat> she said, I'm as heavy as I've ever been. I'm overweight. She started yelling at me about my health. So you know what that means. What? Nothing. <laughs> I need to find a new doctor. <laughs> I need to find a new doctor that won't yell at me. Hey, don't forget to be praying for our mission trips. We have one in Jamaica, one in Honduras going on right now. So pray for those teams. <laughs> and uh, just that God will use them in a mighty way. Jake, you know what's coming up next month? We got Thanksgiving. Then we have Christmas. Holiday season is really... Had somebody at the doctor's office today say, hey, you're that guy from Summit Heights. Do y'all have a Christmas Eve service? And it got me to thinking, when do we start talking about our Christmas Eve service? When is it too soon? Is so it too early? Is it too late? To so we're talking, talking about, about it now. So if you know Christmas falls on December the 25th. Oh, is it the same year, time as last year? Same time. This year, it's on Sunday. And so when it falls on Sunday, uh, we do not do church on that day because we want you to spend time with family. We want you to hang out with family. But on December the 24th, Christmas Eve, we will do a more traditional service, yeah. uh, not it, it, just a well, candlelight. It'll, it'll be a mix. Uh, yeah, not just a night of worship. It'll but, be Christmas Eve-ish yeah. service slash regular weekly service. So just, you might go ahead and put that on your calendar. I know some of you uh, had already planned on not being here. Hey, I think most Christmas calendars Day. already come with Christmas Day marked on them. I don't know that they need to put it on there. I'm talking about church. I'm talking about church. I uh, just... Mark it down. We're going to do it on uh, Christmas Eve. We won't do church on Christmas Day on the 25th. Uh, just mark that down. We'll give you more details as it gets closer, but just be thinking about that. Holidays gets kind of crazy. This year's gotten crazy. It's fast. So, uh, so what, else? what else we got, bro? So just comment in the comment sections if you've got a recommendation for a new doctor for me, uh, preferably Tyler Longview area. Some of we love you. Uh, continue to be faithful in your giving. As we told you last week, uh, Love One, our community outreach, how we meet needs in this community has been a big week this week. Uh, had the opportunity because of your faithfulness to be able to really meet some needs this week. Thank you. Uh, so continue to be faithful. Let's end the year well. Uh, Mac, uh, exceed our budget. Uh, just the more we do that, the more we're able to do in our community and around the world. So I'm grateful for you. It's going to be a great day Sunday and uh, cannot wait uh, to see what God does. Uh, we do have prayer time at 9 a.m. and A101. Love for you to join us for that. 
Uh, so nothing else, bro. Is that your dog or your washing machine? That's that's, that's a washing machine. Oh. Summit, love you. Share this on your platforms. <laughs>